Okay, what we have here is a uh, thermocouple right here, and it's running over to the thermocouple solenoid. And I'm going to demonstrate how this solenoid actually operates. When you push your knob on your gas valve to light your pilot, you're pushing this up. And this is actually the flame safety control. And this little solenoid in here, this electric solenoid, is operated by the thermocouple. As long as there's heat from the thermocouple, it's going to work. When the heat from the thermocouple is gone, it's going to drop out. Okay, now I've got an artificial uh, heat source here, which is just a little torch. Okay, now it's warming it. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hold this up. Okay, it's holding up. Now as long as that flame is on that thermocouple, that's going to continue to hold. Let's look a little closer at the uh, pilot safety. You can see that spring is depressed. Now I'm going to shut off the uh, torch. Now it's shut off. This must drop out in three minutes. And you'll see it pop out. I'm not going to sit here and wait for the silly thing. I'll uh, pause this thing uh, so you don't have to wait for it. They usually drop out in about a minute and a half or something like that. If they drop out in like 10 seconds, uh, there's something wrong. You're not getting enough power from the thermocouple. Uh, the solenoid's going bad, something like that. Who knows? Uh, but as this cools down, the voltage is going to drop. And I'll do a demonstration in another video on how that voltage changes as, uh, as the temperature goes up and temperature goes down. So for right now, what we're going to do is watch this thing, and when it drops out, I'll give you an idea of how long it was. Okay, there you can see it has dropped out. Uh, it took about a minute and a half. Uh, and that's a normal thermocouple. The thermocouple is working okay and the solenoid is working okay.